Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we are going to be making a Stegosaurus. Now, dinosaurs are always a fun thing to model. Um, when you're sculpting, there's lots of little details in there, and just a, a lot of stuff that you can put on that makes it look really, really neat. Even though that's probably not what dinosaurs actually looked like, but oh well. But I guarantee if you go out there and look for things that people have created in ZBrush or other programs like that, you'll almost always find a dinosaur in the bunch. So I've always had it in the back of my mind that I wanted to do this and finally decided to pull the trigger. So I opened up ZBrush and started blocking out the basic shape of the Stegosaurus. Once I had the body basically blocked out, um, I created the, the spine, the fins, the, the plates, I think they're called plates that stick out of the back of it. Um, and in hindsight, I would have done this a little differently. I would have added more detail to them, uh, to the base one and then moved it along the spine, but I did it the other way and just created a block out of all the different ones and then added um, all the detail to each of them individually, which took a ton of time. And my thought process was that each one should look somewhat unique because um, it just adds variation. You don't want them all to look identical because then it just doesn't look right. But I think I could have done a fair amount of base detail on there and then just gone through and altered each one slightly after I put them in place. But you know, you live and you learn. Then I went through on the body itself and added a bit of scale texture. And basically how I did this is I masked off little blob areas. And then once I had the whole thing covered in these little individual islands, um, I inverted the mask and inflated them. And then I went back through with a detail brush and just kind of carved in those different details and smoothed things back out here and there to make it look really organic. But all this detail work isn't really my forte and um, Chelsea is really, really good at this. And I think she really enjoys, you know, adding wrinkles to, to things and making them look all organic. And so I passed the model along to her and she did all the work to make it actually look good. We actually took a different approach with this model. We retopologized it before we added any of the details. And that just gives the ge geometry a really nice flow um, and makes it easy to pose, or I should say easier to pose. Um, posing is always a difficult question when you're dealing with high poly, high detail models. And Chelsea actually created three different poses for this. We have one that's lying down sleeping that she actually got to print with no supports. And there are two of them that have more animated poses. And those are definitely, uh, they definitely need supports to print. So next step is to print them. And for the sleeping Stegosaurus, we printed it out on the Artillery Genius. This video isn't sponsored or anything, but they did send us this printer to show off to you guys and make some projects with. So we will put some links down in the description if you're interested in checking it out. It came out really good and I am so impressed that Chelsea managed to pull off this model without needing supports. Then we chose one of the other poses and printed it out on the Elegu Saturn just because we wanted it to um, print resin so we could see all that juicy detail in there. And I believe we use Soraya Tech resin. That's pretty much all we use with all of our um, Elegu machines and it just, it works so good it's not even funny. Then Chelsea got to work painting the one that we printed on the Elegu Saturn. Um, she just wanted to throw a really quick paint job on there to uh, have some nice pictures to show you guys.
you are interested in printing any of these models out, um, they've actually been available on our Patreon for a couple months now. But we know how much you guys love models that print without supports, especially when they have some level of detail to them. So we wanted to make the, um, the sleeping Stegosaurus free. So we will be putting this model up on things for completely free. Link is down in the description. Um, tag us in a picture if you print one, we would love to see it. All right guys, well thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, get subscribed, because we are making three videos a week for the month of December on 3D Printmas 2020. We are chugging along strong and we've still got some really cool things to show you guys. So I hope you're excited, we are. And until next time, keep creating.